What's up, people of the Lord? Good morning, everyone. Have a blessed day to all of you. Join us today in our daily devotional reading in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 1. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to the church of God, which is at Corinth, with all the saints who are in all Achaia, grace to you and peace from God our Father, in the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble, with the comfort with which ourselves are comforted by God. Amen. For as the suffering of Christ abound in us, so our consolation also abounds through Christ. Now if we are afflicted, it is for your consolation and salvation, which is effective for enduring the same sufferings which we also suffer. Or if we are comforted, it is for your consolation and salvation. And our hope for you is steadfast, because we know that as you are partakers of the sufferings, so also you will partake of the consolation. For we do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, of our trouble which came to us in Asia, that we were burdened beyond measure, above strength, so that we despaired even of life. Yes, we had the sentence of death in ourselves, that we should not trust in ourselves, but in God, Amen. who raises the dead. Amen. Who delivered us from so great a death, and does deliver us, in whom we trust that he will still deliver us, you also helping together in prayer for us, that thanks may be given by many persons on our behalf for the gift granted to us through many. For our boasting is this, the testimony of our conscience that we conducted ourselves in the world in simplicity and God, godly sincerity not with fleshly wisdom, but by the grace of God, and more abundantly toward you. For we are not writing any other things to you than what you read or understand. Now I trust you will understand even to the end, as also you have understood us in part, that we are your boast as you are, as you also are ours in the day of the Lord Jesus. And in this confidence, I intend to come to you before that you might have a second benefit, to pass by way of you to Macedonia, to come again from Macedonia to you, and be helped by you on my way to Judea. Therefore, when I was planning this, did I do it lightly? Or the things I plan, do I plan according to the flesh? That with, with me there should be Yes, yes, and no, no. But as God is faithful, our word to you was not yes and no, but the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who was preached among you by us, by me, Silvanus and Timothy, was not yes and no, but in him was yes. For all, he, all the promises of God in him are yes, and in him, amen, to the glory of God through us. Now he who establishes us with you in Christ and has anointed us in, is God, who also has sealed us and given us the Spirit in our hearts as a guarantee. Moreover, I call God as witness against my soul that to spare you I came no more to Corinth, not that we have done, not that we have dominion over your faith, but our fellow workers for your joy, for by faith you stand. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your word today. We thank you for your grace and mercy. Thank you for forgiving us for all our sins. This is all we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah.